Hello bitches, hi guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today I'll be reacting to Husky Musical, the musical, the series, season 2, episode 4. Last week was Valentine's Day and I was alone and it's fine. Um, but what happened was that we had a bit of a slip up. Gina, bless her soul, Gina texted Ricky thinking that he gave her a Valentine's gift. It was, you know, the box of chocolates was actually from his mum, uh, her mum, sorry. And like she sent a text and it was a very, I have secondhand embarrassment for this girl. I wish her the best on the next couple of days. It's going to be a rough ride for Gina. We're here to support her. If Ricky says something, we'll see what happens. But Ricky and Nini tried to get together, but it just didn't work out, you know. Big Red and Ashlyn had a very cute moment. Love that for them. Um, Courtney had a little vocal moment. It was really, really cute. And we also had that new guy. I forgot what his name is, but he was really cute. And I was like, hello. So a lot of things happened. So without further ado, let's just get right into episode four. Let's go. I just can't believe you're leaving again today. The home cooked dinners together wasn't enough. I know. School. It's school. fine. You got other things. I literally okay, Ricky. Can't find anything in this new Ricky, sir, put your shirt on. This is unacceptable. Put your shirt on, sir. Unacceptable. Uh, unaccept. Inappropriate behavior. Mr. Inappropriate Behavior, put your shirt back on. Uh, I stole it, Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, that, that's actually really sweet. This long distance thing is getting hard. We can talk about that. I'm smiling because I'm happy for you. Just promise me we'll keep FaceTime every day. But is it gonna work? I wanted to. Yeah, well, I, I've always got time for your face. <laughs> Bless. Don't you forget. Do you think? Do you think that like their relationship's gonna last this season? Because I know it's it is rocky, but they are really, really trying to keep it like afloat and stuff. And I'm here for it. But I just I feel like there's like a disconnect. I don't know. I hope not. I could be wrong, but like I'm just kind of, you know, I'm just you, you know how these shows go. Like you know they're long. It's good. I hope it works. Look, I really do. I really do. As our head choreographer, I am so happy to announce that today we will, at last, begin rehearsing. Be our guest. Yeah, to be our guest, guys. Oh. Oh, but didn't he want Gina to be co-choreographer with him? I can't remember, but he, he wanted her to be co-choreographer, right? Like, they're going to do it together. And he then he said head choreographer, and then she got really, like, didn't we agree to be, like, equals in this, like... Yes, Gina, fight for your rights. I support you. Hi. Like how there's a pilot and a co-pilot? You call me his co-pilot? I thought that meant we'd be equals. No. And by equal, I mean I would choreograph most of the show. <laughs> <laughs> you should look. I, I get I get it. So my mom ran over, hogtied the man, and promptly called the police. As we waited for the cops to come, until the police come and get him, He's still our guest. So, did what? he get arrested? <laughs> no, it turns out he's not a burglar at all, just a repairman who entered the wrong unit. But the point <laughs> remains the same. Just like our intruder. We I don't know, it'd probably go a little something like. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Absolutely. All right. yeah, Absolutely yeah. that. <laughs> or elevated and less basic. <gasps> Y'all did not just call Gina basic, her choreography basic. Le honey, honey. I'm scared. You are. Yo. Yo, where is he, Jay? I think the Feather Duster Brigade sounded cool. What, do I need to send you a random box of chocolates to, to prove it? Oh! Sick bird. Wow. Too soon. Okay, look, I'm glad that we can laugh about it. Ricky is looking, you know, he thought it was funny. Okay, that's fine. I'm happy for, with that. Look, we can laugh about it. It was embarrassing. It's fine. That, okay, okay. We're on the la We're on the, it's a joke to, okay, good. I was stressed for a second. We moved past it, I think. We're fine. Yeah, I, I, I sent an embarrassing text on Valentine's Day, but Ricky and I totally cleared it up. Okay. Honestly, I would never step on what he has with me. Okay. okay. Girl, you're catching feelings. What's the sick bird? <laughs> it's nothing. Even for soon to be <gasps> students, it's Nini. Nini. Suffering from senioritis. Nini. Nini's here. Oh my god, I'm 
so happy in his hat! Oh, tea. Oh, is there gonna be tea? There better not be tea. Oh, I don't want. I don't want tea. I want all friends only. Want to interrupt? <laughs> oh, look! Yes, I am. I could take you to the bus station and then zip back to school. Sound good? Girl, just stay. Yeah, sorry. If there's a storm coming, stay. Don't be shy. I've asked Mr. Mazzara to pop in. <laughs> Fucking and shit. And make sure that you don't get too ready while I'm gone. No, thank you. I didn't get into Duke. <gasps> oh, honey. Hey, Jack. We're a Duke family. I mean, I thought it was a lock. No, but just because you didn't get in doesn't mean there's another pathways into in in in, in there's no I can't speak. It's like nine thirty PM. I'm old. There's no back doors into the school, you know what I mean? Like there are you'll be EJ, you're a talented man, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. I know it's sad, you're gonna be upset for a while, it's cool. But you're strong, you got this. You'll you you you, you got this. You get through this. Sometimes dream schools are a little What does that mean? Winning version will then be decided in the last <laughs> vote. Fun and easy. Crazy about the attendance. I, I, I might even get kicked out. You are not getting kicked out of that school. Yeah. Thank you for calling AAA. Oh no. She's. We'll get you back where you belong. Well, where she belongs is at East High with her family and her friends. I'm sorry. I think her new school isn't the vibe for Nini. I mean, it's a great opportunity, but I feel like she's learning slowly. Like she said to EJ, dream schools aren't all that, all you know, all that, all hype. What, what, what did you say? Dream schools aren't all that. Like, you know, she had these high expectations and then she kind of like, oh, is this it? Like it wasn't, it didn't meet her expectations kind of thing. So where she belongs, I think, is East High. All I'm saying, okay? That's all I'm saying. And oh. it's a power outage. The idea of being stuck together all night. Maybe we should hold each other for warmth. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm What's sorry. Up, folks? Waters, flashlights, let's move, people. I mean, just being practical, like get some supplies. Like you're gonna have to stay probably all night at school. But how did you so. get back in the queue? An ice cream truck accident. Who is eating ice cream today of all days? <laughs> Please, if Miss Jen is literally the icon, I'm sorry. Y'all know how much I stand this woman. She just has the best lines, I think. And like, who is having ice cream on a fucking snow day? Like in a blizzard, who's having ice cream? Like, she's asking the real questions. I don't, I don't disagree with Miss Jen. She's asking the real questions. I mean, Hello. <laughs> come on. Yeah, I muted Mondays. We're not supposed to overexert our voices. Our Ooh. teacher said if we're too loud as ourselves, we'll drown out our characters. Girl, leave. Okay. Leave. Uh, never at yak. Um, it causes inflammation and puffiness, so everyone kind of avoids it. Okay. Oh. Yes, yeah, see, okay, see, this is the final straw for me personally. Um, as a person who loves hot chocolate, for a school who won't allow that is just disrespectful in my opinion. So you need to leave, Nini, I'm sorry. Sure. After dinner, she said are you okay? No, she's not okay. <laughs> You're a liar. Need a girl's point of view on Dude, something. Don't. Ricky wants to text something so dumb to Nini, and I'm telling you, okay. It's not What's the text. Yes, but also he wishes that he was her dream and wants her to turn around right now and come back here. I... Okay. It's a bit cringe, but it's kind of cute. I don't know. I believe the word he used was. Yeah, don't ever text that. <laughs> Say it out loud for that matter. Yeah, literally. I'm part of a Twix bar near my locker, and I can only assume it's your latest Valentine to me. <laughs> <laughs> I go big, Gina. You know that. Vicky, there you are. We no, stand in the famine of crisis. But they ban I really like Gina and Ricky's banter. I, 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 look, okay, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I'm gonna be so transparent. I may jump ship. I may jump ship. Cause you know I love Rena, as you saw last week and in season one. I loved actually I was it was unexpected and I really liked their chemistry. So I may jump ship. I don't know yet, but like I enjoy Rena, I'm just saying. Yes. Not 
now, please. Oh, shit. But if it's your phone, why do I have to be the one up here? Because you said you got struck by lightning that one time on your farm, so that makes you a better power conductor than me. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the Courtney and Sam friendship is everything I needed. This is my favorite thing of season two, or one of. Their friendship, oh my god, they're incredible. I love them. They're just hilarious. I love these two. Till I die, my children. Everyone they are my children. Pronto, the and Ricky's proud, and my friends, and everyone just kind of... All of those people just want you to be happy. happy. And if you're not happy, you can't go to the school. Mission, when did you realize that Broadway was in your dream? I was giving her a pep talk, and then she threw up all over my sheet music. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> yep. I was more worried about young Elsa than the audition. Mm. And I looked down, or let it go. I knew it was going to be let it go. I knew. See, sometimes the signs are there. Sometimes the signs are there. And I really appreciate this Miss Jen and Nini little, you know, chat that we're having. Because, like, clearly we kind of had figured out that Nini wasn't really happy at the new school. So, like, to have her consult Miss Jen, because, like, she, I feel like she's someone she looks up to and, like, who's kind of been through something similar. Like, she thought she had a dream and then, you know. Nini could still have her dream. It's just not at that school, you know. The East High was looking for a new drama teacher. And I found a new dream. Oh, stop. That's so fucking cute. Oh, all right. I love that. <laughs> Do you know where the finest place in the world is to study robotics? Stark Industries? Caltech. <laughs> I played four and a half times. No, he was saying stop. Stop. Half? Point is, it was a little surface. I'm not sure that Duke knew what your story was. Okay. Okay. Apparently neither do I. Do you still think about Caltech? Not as much anymore. No, I love them. I love them all. I want them all to be happy. But I love that I chat too. Here. This is cute, oh, man. If we eventually run out of food, I just want to say, you can eat me first. Oh my. Dude, no. It probably tastes like pizza. <laughs> I'm not yelling. I'm saying with passion that the song is called Be Our Guest, not Be Babette the Feather Dusters Guest. Oh. Why don't you just choreograph the whole show yourself? And I need you. Okay, keep going. Do you know how freaked out I am to be even appearing on stage this semester? Has ever seen me sing and dance? Honey. I'm a behind the scenes guy. You wouldn't understand that. You're in the scene. I'm a change of scene. A supporting role I didn't want. And I'm still just trying to figure out... Who I, who I want to be at this school. Oh. And I'm sorry, but you wouldn't understand that. You think I don't know what it's like to try to figure out who I'm supposed to be? I mean... Look around you, Gina. There's not, like, a ton of me in this school. Dad, this is... This... I was like, okay, you know, the Storm episode, you know, when they get locked in, it'll be like a fun... We're getting really deep, man. But, like, I feel like we need to. I feel like we, the, some, the characters that we don't normally interact are getting to interact. And it's really interesting. And, like, I understand both Carlos and Gina's point of view. Like, I get where they're coming from. Like, I understand both of their sides. But, like... They just need to find the level. They just need to find, get on the same wavelength somehow. They got to talk it out and find, you know, the middle ground. I guess. I'm already blowing it. No, no, no. Alice, it didn't mean a really confusing time, and it's not about you. So we can do the dance, however makes you comfortable. Oh, honey. If it's not about me, then who is it about? Oh, it's about Ricky. You didn't say it was a who. You didn't say it wasn't. It's Ricky, right? Her feelings for him. You do matter. Try to remember that, okay? Oh, boy! Oh, that's so cute. I'll try. No, she does. Uh, any idea where Courtney Green might be? Oh, that's, 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 I can't remember his name. Isn't the actor's name Roman? What was his name? I can't remember. I literally cannot remember his name. They said it in the last episode, but I can't remember. He came to record the pizza and her cards. God bless a man. That is a man. We love him. My child. Hey, I'm so hungry. I actually would eat you. 
I think I like this sign. Howie! Howie! That's right. You know, I'm a, I'm a lot of man. <laughs> oh, look. If I carry cash, I tip you. I'll add it to the top. <gasps> the, he got the cards. By the way, the rear is natural currency. Okay, the way he brought her the cards. Stop it. I love that. I'm really, I'm gonna get on board the ship. I feel it. I sense it. Like, I sense it. And I'm here for it. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm jumping. I'm about to jump on. There are many ships I'm on. There's a new one arising, and I'm here for it. What's the ship name? Hit me up if you ever need to study, buddy. God bless. Well, now I have a tip about your attitude. Oh, attitude's on the house. Later. No, I didn't like that long you look I saw home? Ricky. I saw you him know? stare at her. Because you never get to see me. With Ricky or with Carlos? I'll take either. <laughs> Same. Yeah, I guess I'm still figuring that out. Do you want to talk about it? Mimi! <laughs> he yelled up pretty loudly for like a quiet train session. God bless him. <laughs> oh! Forehead kiss. That is so. Am I losing my voice? Probably. It's fine. But like, come on. They're cute, man. But Gina, Gina's there, and like, I'm getting drawn to Gina and Ricky. I don't know, man. I told you. I'm gonna be real with you. I may jump ship. I don't know, but I still love Rini. Obviously, who doesn't? Is there something you're not saying? Say it. No, say it! Say it! Don't be shy! Why? Come on, you should sense this shit that she's not happy! I mean, he shouldn't have to sense it, but like, because he hasn't seen her. But like, we need the commute. Are they going to sing it? Are we going to do like a song thing? Okay. Am I taking it for granted? This song slaps though. I love this song. Okay, but this song slaps. Why is this song so good? Am I surprised? No, I'm not. This standard on this show for music, for music, like for songs, is incredible. Like every single song I actually love, and like this is just like not the typical High School Musical, the musical, the series song you get. Like this is like heartbreaking shit. Like this is good. Get off the bus! Get off the bus! Oh my god, this song was really like. Wow. I'm actually in shock at how good this is. You gotta get off the bus, Nini. You gotta get off the bus and go to... Ricky. <gasps> she did! She did! Oh, thank goodness. I thought you were another scary ghost girl. <laughs> Damn. I couldn't go back. I mean, they have a fancy campus and fancy teachers. The one thing you don't have... Is Miss Jen. Is Ricky. Well, that's that too. <gasps> I was gonna say there; these teachers might be all fancy, whatever, but they're not. They're not like Miss Jen. Miss Jen is a one of a kind. I fully agree. She's a one of a kind, and she's just Miss Jen. How do you not love her? How is she not your favorite teacher? She's my favorite teacher. This, this is my home. I know. It was crazy because I used to feel trapped here, but really sorry I wasn't. Oh, that's so cute. Ah! Yes, yes, yes! Sam. I need this. Come on. You need to figure I'm it out. Give you a ride home. I love the I love the bonding between Miss Jen and Nini. I love the bonding that they did and now she's decided to stay. She's gonna cut she's back at his tie. Now let's oh it was good though. But what's good? Is there going something gonna happen? Is this the end? I'm nervous. Something's gonna happen, right? It better not, man. I'm happy. I miss you so much, and I wish you were staying home with me forever. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. Okay. <laughs> Go to him. Stay there. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I thought it was gonna be something bad, but it wasn't. We're fine. That was cute. Guys, I really enjoyed this episode. This episode was pretty much 
the Nini misses home, Nini doesn't go back. It was a really good episode. Like, we got some really good, um, like, insight into Nini, EJ, Ricky, Gina, uh, even Carlos. Like, we got some good stuff. Like, I thought one thing that surprises me, like, this show, it's like, what even is this show? Like, is it the musical? Is it the comedy? Is it the drama? Like, what is it? It's like, it's a bit of everything. And, like, you just don't know what you're going to get in every episode, which is why it's so interesting. And, like, I think, for me... Nini deciding to stay because we obviously, as I said before, we felt the whole she didn't feel like the, that's she didn't feel the school. Like, she was like, No, this is not the vibe. I was like, This school's been weird, not weird, but like, it's not her vibe, it's not my vibe. I was like, No, no, no. And she isn't truly really happy at this school. She gave it a sh- she gave it a shot, she tried it out, it wasn't for her, and then she's gonna come back. And that's totally cool, it's not for everybody, that's totally fine. She has like, she can get a new dream or you know, whatever. Like, she thought it was a dream, it wasn't. And I commend her for that because she tried it. But now, and now she's back. And the, the talk with Mrs. Jen was super sweet. I feel like it was a real much needed talk because I don't think she any other uh, of the the class, like the drama kids, could relate. I guess Mrs. Jen could because she had a dream and it didn't work out. And she, it you know, it was better to talk to an not an adult, but like someone who's been through the similar experience. Tanini, you know? So I really love that she's back at East High. Love that for us. But you know what I'm really, really loving? The Gina. I hate love triangles, right? I really hate them. But I'm really interested in the Gina storyline. Because she's still figuring out what she wants, right? And I'm just like, I don't... We don't know. And she's just trying to work it out. Because there's clearly feelings there for Ricky. So like, she keeps making jokes about the whole chocolate thing. Which, yeah, it's funny. We can joke about it. But I feel like deep down, it's kind of... It's low, not flirting, but it's low key. Like, she's got it. It's like that undertone because she still has a bit of feelings for him. I think she's kind of trying to work out what she wants and like who she wants, kind of thing. She's still working it out herself, and like it's really interesting because like Ricky gave her a glance. Like I see shit. I see the eye. Gl- I see the looks. You know, little side little two second extra long. You know, like sight. Hmm. But things I love Rena and uh, Gina and, R- and Ricky. Like, I love them a lot. And I think they have in very interesting chemistry. Much different to Ricky and Nini. So I don't know what's going to happen. I was like, okay, yeah. The love triangle is done in season one. Like, we're fine. But no, it's coming back. And I don't hate it. Like, I'm actually enjoying it. It's not even the love triangle yet. But, like, it kind of, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. But, oh, and then the whole Gina and Carlos conversation. Oh, my God. I just... It was so good. Like, they have their differences. And they didn't really get screen time together. So we get to actually have them communicate and, you know, you know, with each other, which is really cute. Um, we had EJ and and Benjamin. Like, that was a really unexpected one. But, like, you need to Duke. Like, all these things just... I just... I loved it. I loved it. I'm sorry. Everything was great. It was just a... I feel like this was, like, the, like, culmination of, like, uh, Nini... Not wanting to go to that school anymore. Now she's going to come back. And now she's going to be in the musical again. The drama's going to escalate even more. I think. I don't know. But anyways. Guys. That was the end of my reaction video. 204. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys next time. For another video. I love you guys. And ciao for now. Bye guys.